Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA dropped a player SPC yesterday, and it is changing the market landscape on FC24. It's really crashing the market again. We can't go a day without this market moving really just downwards, right? And price is dropping because of something that happens, whether it's store packs and SBC like yesterday or just panic selling in general. Prices are down once again because of a big time SBC that a lot of people are doing. So we're gonna take a look at that today and move into a big conversation about the market today on Sunday. We've got squad battle rewards coming back out today and with a lot more people getting those rewards than last week, of course, with the full release of the game, out now could it mean even bigger and better things for the market we'll talk about today and how you can maybe maximize that rewards period on the game today if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's talk about this SBC guys and right now as it stands I'm tempted to do him I really am I'm not 100% sold on it yet because it just to me feels like maybe somewhere down the line it's not gonna feel like it's worth it that's the thing that's holding me back from this card right now but the way that it sits right now in game 84 rated muhammad kudus with 92 pace guys a europa live card for kudus big name player west ham very good potential to upgrade has a lot of pace has a lot of dribbling four star skill moves um can play right wing and cam and right mid as well that's the interesting positions that this card has we'll look at the market in a second he's moving in all those areas where other cards are moving in those areas because people are doing this SBC. 96 balance on the card. Only 76 reactions. That's a stat that a lot of people will point to right away. And the fact that he only has three play styles and no play style plus. But with the price of this SBC coming in at about 90k, which has actually gone up a little bit. He was 80k. It's about 90,000 coins to do. It's not that difficult. It's an 85 and an 86 rated squad, which is semi-easy to do, especially with objective packs and stuff like that. Maybe upgrade packs this week. I mean, we expect those probably tomorrow on Monday. That could make this SBC a bit easier as well. But a lot of people are looking at the live aspect of this card that it can upgrade and the fact that he's already very usable and Premier League. You know what? There's really a lot of Premier League push right now in this game. Look at all the SBCs we've had. Bruno Gimaresh, Mohamed Kudus, the Madison Player of the Month, a lot of Premier League, right? Even the KDB SBC that a lot of people did in the first week of early access. It's just Premier League heavy right now in this game. This guy fits into so many people's teams. And yes, he still does that potential upgrade. Now, I will say this, guys, just to make you aware... If they get both upgrades, this card will not only become an 86, he will become an 87 because once again, they are in-form upgrades. So if they win two matches, he's going to an 86 off that first upgrade. And if they qualify, he'll go to an 87. So a plus one in-form upgrade for an 84 actually takes him to an 86. Now, what cards are moving? Why is the market crashing because of this SBC? Well, one of those popular cards in the game, Musa Diaby is the most used gold card in the game if you take a look at this pgp tab here on footbin it'll tell you the number of games played for a certain card and if you search by all players in the game um this card is the number one gold card that is used he dropped like crazy from 55,000 coins all the way down to 44k now back up a little bit because this card is a substitute right if you've never played ultimate team before if you're learning the market for one of the first times it's called a substitute because Kudus comes in and people sell their Musa Diaby because they want to do this Kudus, right? And it's not just Diaby. We've got Doku, who can also play right wing and left wing in the Premier League. His price went from 65k to 55k yesterday and has rebounded back up a little bit. But it's not just even Premier League cards, guys. Take a look at like Usman Dembele and, and Nkunku, right? And Nkunku is not a right wing. Why is he dropping, right? Kudus can play Cam, guys. And Nkunku yesterday showed uh, that the center attacking mids in the Prem were dropping as well, going from 70 to 64. He did rise back up a little bit because he's still meta, he's still popular, and he is still rare. I don't know where Usman Dembele is. Usually he's on the front page of Footbin. But this card is even down because of Kudus. Look, it drops off at the exact same time, 203,000 coins because he's a right wing card. And guys, I really think it's the pace on this Kudus that is making his... Uh, market impact be so great it's the pace and the price let's be honest at the same time now of course with those prices going down there's got to be something going up right it's Lamptey right the Ghanaian links with Lamptey 
This was a perfect storm yesterday for him, going from 75,000 coins up to about 90k, because he is the best card to link Kudus with. Kudus is difficult to link, right? And, and that's just the fact. If you're running a Premier League team, it's pretty easy to get him in now. One of the detractors to the value of this SBC is the fact that it is a little bit difficult to link him. I think Ghanaian managers are also like really either expensive or really, really uh, or extinct or really expensive right now on this market as well. But guys, I'll say this. You have to be careful with SBCs like this as well, right? Because there's a lot of upside, it looks like right now. We haven't had too many SBCs so far this year. I would rate this... Um, Kudus SBC as the second best SBC on the year. I think James Madison player of the month is still number one for the price that it is, for the links that he has, and uh, also how long he's out. I think this Kudus is out for a week, which is not bad uh, because they've also got some games coming up pretty soon as well, which could also factor into his potential to upgrade. Uh, guys, I was rating this on stream at about a 7.5 out of 10, and really the only detractors from that is some of the reactions, composures, and of course... Um, he just doesn't have the best of links, but it is a really nice card. He can play a lot of different positions and he's meta and he's definitely pacey. Now I haven't watched any player reviews on him. I want to know how you guys are liking the card. Drop down below in the comments. If you did the SBC, what you think of it? This one for me is one that I might get done, but I'm going to push it off on it a little bit. Uh, but guys, once again, this is just an SBC you have to be careful with, right? That's the whole reason that the market went down yesterday is because EA drained, drains a lot of coins. When they drop SBCs like this, when they drop a good value player SBC that a lot of people want to go out and do, uh, it takes coins off the market because people go and sell their tradable Diaby, right? We saw Diaby go from 55 to 44. Then they go buy SBC fodder, 83s, 4s, 5s, and 6s, which are slightly up on the market right now. They go and buy those so that they can go do the SBC and it takes coins off the market and you just have to be careful with that because you can really run out of coins really fast because we know how many great SBCs EA will drop over the course of a month or two months. If you're not playing the game, getting rewards, trading at all to get your coin balance up, it's just one of those that you have to be a little bit careful with, but I like it. It's again, a solid SBC. And if you can't afford it right now, wait for upgrade packs, wait for more objective packs. I think it's worth a craft if you run a Prem squad. Um, as you can see, 87s are 11,000 coins. I think these were 9k yesterday. An 87 rated going up the most with an 85 and an 86 squad requirement. 9.1k all the way to 11,000 coins in the 87 cards. 85s are up a little bit. 86s are 7.5k right now. What did they start at yesterday? 6.5k. So up 1,000 there. So 87s actually moved the most. What about 88s? Just really quick to check. I didn't look at these. Uh, 88s from 13k to about 15k, but you got a little bit more tax there. So 87s were probably the move in terms of what fodder went up the most for this Kudus. Uh, so yeah, that's my long spiel about the Kudus SBC, guys. Do it at your own risk. I think it's a great SBC, and a lot of people are obviously doing it, but it's one that you kind of want to think about, right, and plan about before you just do it right off the bat, depending on how many coins that you have. Also, yesterday we had a really great budget and kind of a fun SBC set along with some objectives. The Turkish League. We've had Leroy Fair, who actually is fitted perfectly for a center back card with four star weak foot, medium high, four play styles, and lengthy for sure with 92 strength, 87 aggression. It's really cheap to get him done. And then also the objectives that tie alongside of it. You get a FIFA legend. You get yourself Miroslav Orsic in the Super League now, but, sorry, Mislav Orsic, four-star weak foot, three-star skills, a super sub that you might want to get in, 93 agility, 90 balance with 96 curve. He does have four play styles, including the power shot and the finesse shot, so not play style plus, but he's got just the regular play styles of that. The cards inside of it aren't that amazing. Uh, they're okay, but Orsic, or Orsic kind of makes him worth it, and then Leroy Fair is kind of decent as well, so if you want to grind that out, that is there. I think that might be the best squad foundations that we had yet. Not that it's super amazing, but it actually is pretty solid. Now, let's talk more about the market, guys, and let's head into talking about today on Sunday, right? Before we talk a little bit more about yesterday, let's talk about today on Sunday because we've got squad battle rewards once again, and I want to point out to you guys that once again, just like last week, these rewards are going to impact the market. When you look at the rewards that are being given out today, even if you get like gold two, you're getting a small rare gold players pack, 7,000 coins. And there's so many more people that are getting the rewards this week than last week when these rewards came out because it was only early access last week. Guys, a lot of people are getting coins today. And just like last week, I do expect the market to rise a little bit. 
after a bit of supply. Now, I will say this week is probably going to look a lot different. You don't have everybody wanting to go out to the market and buy cards like Ball Day, like last week, or cards that were really, really cheap that people were building for their starter teams. People now are going to be looking towards those middle to top tier cards and maybe even some team of the weeks. So the cards that I would tell you to watch out for today on this game would be cards from the Premier League and cards that people would be upgrading to. Let's say you're somebody who has like 50, 60K in this game right now. You open your rewards, you make 20, 30,000 coins. Right now you're able to afford somebody who's almost 100K, you know, with a little bit of extra trading, a couple of other sales that you get, boom. There's 100,000 coins for you. And maybe you go and look for somebody like a Kyle Walker or a Rafael Varane who was not able to be purchased for your team before because they were too expensive. These are the types of cards that I expect to be moving upwards in price the most today. The middle to top tier, and guys, I keep mentioning Premier League, right? Those are the types of cards that I would be watching the most, especially because that's where people are building most of the teams right now in this game. Now, other cards are moving, right? You look at Jude Bellingham. He's 90K. There might be a little bit of investing here because of a potential team of the week three because of his performance yesterday. He went from 80K to 90,000 coins where he is now. But like Tonali, he started to rise up a good amount. Rashford has started to rise up a good bit. Uh, and keep an eye on those Premier League cards because that's where a lot of people, like we said, are building teams and buying those players to link with the SBCs they've done and the team building that's going on right there and right now. So that's kind of what I would say around rewards today. There might be a bit of supply right when rewards drops, but I'm also not trying to sit here and tell you that like a guy like Varane is going to go from 99K to like 120,000 coins, right? It's probably going to be like Varane goes up like... 15, 10K, 10, 15K. It's going to be rises that are probably not that insane because realistically, we just have not been having really insane price rises on this game. And it just seems like the market is still very stuck. I know we have Weekend League that is upcoming this next weekend. Maybe that can really amplify the market rise on this next week of the game. But for right now, it still just feels like this market, if it goes up at all, is just like inching upwards. It goes down a little bit, then goes up a little bit more, then it goes down a little bit, and then up a little bit more. And some cards just seem to stay the same price or maybe even just go down. So that's why I would stick to the areas and stick to the cards that have been actually going up the most, and that would be definitely those Premier League cards. So keep an eye on the Premier League and the higher rated cards for sure. Even like Sam Kerr. Technically not Premier League, right? But look at her graph. She goes between 175. I bought one yesterday at 175, sold it at 190. She goes to 170, and then she's already back to about 190,000 coins right now. It's the rarity here, guys, that makes these cards move. This is a non-Premier League card, but Bon Mati, 240,000 coins. Yesterday in the content drop, went all the way down to 217. Went boom, right back up to 230, 240, right where she is now. A lot of great fluctuations, and I will tell you this. Definitely for a lot of cards. I noticed this last night. Remember last night on the YouTube video, I was listing up a few of these cards right here. I was listing up the Harry Kane. I was listing up the Matomas at 30,000 coins. We're going to talk about Team of the Weeks in a second, but Matoma yesterday kind of peaked in the late night hours, like usually around the time that this video goes live, which is like 4, 3, 4, 5 a.m. UK time is when I'm recording these videos. That's when Matoma was actually 30K, and I was selling them for 30K last night on the market. It seems like a lot of cards peak in the late night, early morning UK time frame, right around here. And then they kind of just stay a little stagnant, maybe drop off a bit. And then right before content, they drop off again. Usually after content, they drop off a bit because of pack supply or whatever may happen. Um, the good content that's released. And then they get rare again at nighttime. Look, he was 26K at content drop. And look where he is now. Besides a couple undercuts, Matoma's 29,000, almost 30,000 coins once again. So that's kind of one thing for the daily fluctuations of the market to keep in mind. Maybe selling cards in the late night is the play for right now and the where we're at on this game. Um, also, for Team Elite cards today, with the squad battle rewards, as we see like a card like Hyunmin Sun at 550k as well, again, a card that has gone up from yesterday's content drop and is getting rare now in the nighttime, these cards might get supplied a bit today. I would keep an eye on guys like Saul, Cancelo, Conte, Kaliska, Sun, Kane, and Matoma, and Trippier even as well. These could be investments today, guys. Team of the Week is something that we're going to have to learn a lot about this year, and the fluctuations are going to be different. Team of the Weeks are so much more rare than ever before because they're not in Weekend League rewards, guys. And we're going to continue to talk about that because it is so true. Um, but I'm way more interested in trading with Team of the Week cards today, tomorrow, 
and into this week because today is like the last reward set that these Team of the Week cards are going to be a part of because uh, we don't have foot champions this week. By the time we get to Rivals, they'll be gone. There could be other SBCs and tradable packs that come out that make these card prices drop a bit. So I'm not saying to like go buy, you know, 10 Harry Kane today and just sit on this card and, you know, hope to see it rise. You know, it probably could rise a bit, but more so if you're wanting to trade with these cards today, I think it might be a good opportunity with the rewards because people, especially after they get past some of these gold cards, guys, with gold cards being as cheap as they are, maybe this is part of the reason EA is kind of making this market be the way that it is, is because they want gold cards. And we said this earlier on in the year, that gold cards were going to have a shorter shelf life and a shorter usefulness life in Ultimate Team than ever before, because EA downgrades them every single year. They want us moving into promo cards, right? And doing SBCs and spending our coins and FC points on that sort of thing. Is this going to mean that these inform cards... Um, are going to be what people want to move into, into building their teams out and upgrading, getting bigger and better cards. And that's what EA is trying to do. Um, and, and maybe those prices will appreciate because of that. Like Matoma is one that I'm interested in. Conte, if you're going to run a Saudi squad, he's going to be in it. Cancelo with the Barca links looks amazing. So I don't know. I'm interested in, team, in these team elite cards because they're more rare and they also just separate themselves from the gold so much with the car designs, with the dynamic images and everything else. I'm interested in them, to say the least. I'm not going to go crazy on them today, but that's just something to watch and think about with Team of the Week cards a little bit with squad battles today and just in general. Now, also today with squad battles, since we have a pretty solid set of SBCs has been coming out recently, you know, we get a decent player SBC here or there. Um, you know, I feel like we still do some pack SBCs. Remember, we had the Reds and we had the Blues and Reds for Liverpool and PSG. We've mentioned that a couple of times. Where's our other pack SBCs? That was usually a staple of early game content from previous years is that EA would drop those challenge SBCs, kind of like marquee matchups, but just to give out a pack or two and it would move the market and it would make cards drop because of the supply. We had those last week. We haven't had one yet. Maybe we get one of those today, but those are SBCs that you can trade with because of course, anytime somebody sees tradable packs, anytime we have tradable packs like we do with marquee matchups, every Thursday, people go crazy for those. And you can try to speculate and invest or you know, invest on the fly and for some of that fodder. And then fodder in general, this is the point that I was trying to get to. A lot of people have started to invest in fodder because yeah, you know what? It, you look at it and you're like, man, 85s for 4K. I remember when 85s were selling for, you know, like what? Eight, nine, ten thousand coins at points last year in FIFA 23. Are they gonna go that high this year with all of the 85s that we have in the game with the player pool being so much bigger? Maybe not. But guys, it's probably start. It's probably time to start thinking about investing in fodder. I know a lot of people that are starting to invest in 84s at discard price. 84s discard is 1.1k on bid. A lot of 84s are like 1.2, 1.3, 85s. I like them at three and a half. I'm not saying that today is a day you have to buy the fodder because we got a great SBC that a lot of people are doing, and it is inflated as we just looked at. But it's probably something to start considering. Putting some of these on your transfer list, putting some of them in your club, making sure that if you're doing other SBCs, you make sure to keep those investments in the club and maybe only use your untradeable ones and be careful with that. But starting to invest in fodder doesn't seem like a bad shout to me um, just because with the content that we've had recently, I just think that EA is going to keep it rolling and we're probably going to get some sort of like gamble slash upgrade pack. We've already had the, the lone base hero player pick, which is kind of laughable in a sense, but... Uh, you know, like we're going to probably get a real hero player pick, not soon, but like that sort of thing could be coming earlier this year than in previous years, just with how it seems EA want to run this game. So maybe start to think about investing in fodder just a little bit. And then lastly, I want to talk about today is Sunday content. We're finally getting those last four road to the knockout players in packs today. The ones that we were still waiting to see since we saw them in concepts, guys, like remember looking at Lamer, Dodo, uh, Pedro Gonsalves and Mertens. Those are the four guys that are coming out today. I packed gold Pedro Gonsalves. I think yesterday I was like, EA, where's my compensation, man? Give me the road to the knockouts version. I'm the most excited for this lamer today. Um, not saying that he's going to make a ton of moves or waves on the market really in general, but with that play style plus, a lot of people are really looking to play style pluses because they impact cards in games so much. Some people are even downvoting the Kudus SBC because they're like, nah, Nate, I'm using this Diaby card and he's got the playstyle plus for a quick step. It just makes him too fast. People call that like the rocket ship playstyle plus. 
which is kind of what it is, which is funny, right? Um, they're saying that he's still too good with that playstyle plus. It makes up for all the other stats that Kudus is technically better than him in because the playstyle impacts the card so much. But regardless, we're getting four new cards today in the mini release. I think EA would refresh the packs in the store 100% for that, try to get some people to open those. Actually, uh, there's other packs that have been added to the code besides the 80 and the 175. Watch out for maybe a different type of upgrade pack added uh, in today's game. Whether it's untradeable, well, it probably will be untradeable. But just keep an eye out for that because, you know, new cards and packs, maybe EA can say, hey, maybe we'll get a couple extra pack sales. And then again, we have our fingers crossed. Please, EA, drop us an evolution player, okay? A lot of us have been grinding through evolutions. We're ready for the next one. We, I hope Sundays are the days that we get new evolutions. We're going to ask for that every single day until we get one. They're just so hyped, and I think EA know that. Um, we're just waiting for the next one. Like, come on now. EA, do it. Drop it. Get us moving on those once again on this game. That's going to move the market a lot. It's going to be just... It just piques so much interest in this game when those evolutions are good. Now, one thing I'll say to you guys as well to end off the video is get, it, get hyped. Get motivated to trade, right? Because now is a great time to trade. Um, on the middle to lower tier and if you're like nate the market just keeps going down i'm losing coins that's because a lot of those meta players are yes that is happening a lot of player prices are just staying stagnant as we look at a lot of them like rafael leal every day yes he does fluctuate but it's not like he's going up he's between 130 and 150 thousand coins every single day you look at other meta cards like alex morgan this is actually a really good card to trade with by the way yesterday 32k up to 38 down to 32 back now to 37 38,000 coins on the daily this is a card that goes down maybe down during squad battle rewards today to like 32k you can pick up her card sell her maybe late night tomorrow for 38 to 40,000 coins for a high rated card that a lot of people are using you know get on get on that trading grind because the coins at this early stage of the game are so 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 important i know that this market is demotivating especially when you're holding on to cards but if you're getting in at the right areas and if you're getting on bids today bids with squad battle rewards as we always mention will be great you can bid on a guy like konate who some people still might be buying for their teams that's maybe a little bit too low of a meta card but let's say somebody like chameni some people might st still be buying a card like chameni or saliba who's 83 rated gonna get packed some or Marquinhos would be a great card. He was Marquinhos was 40,000 coins flat yesterday um, after content. And look where he is now, up to 46K. Let's say he goes back to like 41 or 42 during marquee matchups. Get on some bids, get on some snipes, and just flip those cards. And if you're like, Nate, I don't have that many coins, do that same thing with gold, non-rares, and uh, with lower tier golds as well in fodder right sbc fodder gold non rares and fodder are great you can just bid on 85s for like 2k 3k and you'll win some of them sell them for 4k that sort of thing and because as i'm watching the market as well i'm still seeing a lot of the solution type players that are moving right you, you check the top down list um just looking through a few cards here day almieda 750 coins but you know why she's on the top down list right it's because her card had spikes yesterday she went to 1000 coins uh for advanced sbcs um uh, milik is an 81 rated uv card how high did he go yesterday looks like he was over a thousand he went from 600 to 850 and then just a bit ago went to 5k right there 5k for milik on one of these graphs um solution trading is great it is moving and also you can do lazy listing man i mean we talk about lazy listing a couple of times in the videos uh but it absolutely works because people are looking to buy cards and they're just like okay i'm gonna go buy this card here i'm not gonna care too much about the price upa makano might be a good card to lazy list or you can even go on a lower budget than that you can go for somebody like maybe ben Asser for 1800 coins or rabio for 3k look at that sort of thing and then as always don't sleep on icons and heroes, right? I just hit a million coins liquid once again. Sawa is a million flat. Yesterday, she was between 950 and 1.1. Like, you know, whether you're on a higher budget or a lower budget, get out there and get trading, guys, because this is an amazing time to grind, especially because we're all motivated to try the game. If you get coins earlier on, those coins just take you so much further throughout the whole rest of the game. If you can get those coins and, uh, and have them. You'll be so much further ahead because you can turn those coins into more. That's why I've been trying to grind the market a good amount, not an unhealthy amount. But I had 570k on Friday, um, and now I'm up to a million coins because I still have the um, I still have the Erling Holland right. That's on my transfer list. And yeah, with those flips that we had on Friday, with the other stuff we have going on, 
We've been making a decent amount of coins. I'm listing this Erling Holland for a lazy buyer. Probably not going to get it, but we're going for it. So that's my last word of motivation is hit the market, get grinding, get trading, because there are coins to be made. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. Hopefully EA drops some nice content today once again, but I maybe wouldn't expect it because yesterday was super nice. Maybe it'll be a quieter day, which could mean a better day to trade. So get out there, get trading. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. Peace.